right, we're going on a mission, Volbiv time. First one of the season. And I've got to go and pick up Brad. Brad is notoriously late, so the best way to make sure he gets on time is to just go and do all the shopping for him, turn up at his house half an hour early, and pester him until he's ready to leave on time. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend I'm ready. <laughs> <You're> really? <laughs> Sweet. Let's go, Val Bivin. Get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you going to shut the door? <laughs> Come here. This is going to be a 10 minute video of me getting you in the car and then three minutes of us bombing out and mace down. Here we are again. I reckon that we should do like what we normally do, which is fly down this northeast ridge, try and get up on mailings, and then get on these north faces over there. Yeah. And then if we can get high enough that we can just hop over the top of Vanguard and St. Just, and then we can just make glide over to the north faces of the flood burn. But the question is going to be, is like, are we going to get high enough yeah. on mailings and advance to get over the top? I think that we're probably better off staying in the deeper valley, like the ones that are, are lower at the base. Yeah. The Shieldburn and the Pole Noon, I think they're quite elevated. I reckon it'll be hard to get out of them, mm. possibly. Yeah, to get over the back there. Like on a paraglider or on foot, you know? I'm really regretting my Shoes. sneaker choice now. You didn't, <laughs> didn't remember it's spring and there's f snow everywhere. Were you expecting just it to be summer back here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what time is it now? It's like coming up to 12 o'clock, so we'll just get ready and... Yeah, I reckon you don't, probably don't want to wait too long after 12.30. Yeah, it'll work, it'll work. It'll work. enjoy the video do us a favor and give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you have any questions or suggestions just leave it in the comments below all right so spring roll biv september i'm with brad we're going to try and stick together and fly up the shot over we've made the crossing from Trying at peak to mailings, and now we're trying to get on from Vanguard, and then hopefully we can connect with uh, the west faces of the Harris and fly uh, towards the shot over saddle. Uh, we've been getting up to about six and a half so far. We'll need to get a little higher to get over here, but beautiful. And we're going to go camping tonight, so it's going to be good fun. We'll see what the day brings. Can we stay on the Harris until Hyde and then go for Churchill? I don't think we should go in the Pole Noon. It just looks like too much snow. I don't think it's going to be working. Like the snowy faces aren't working at all. But the north side, you know how the shot over bends around to the left? There's some good north faces around there. And uh, then you've got the west faces on the upper shot over. Um, I think that's where we should go, but stick to the river and uh, we'll keep pushing north for now. Sweet! That's the plan. All 
Oh, I'm just trying to push around onto these north spurs, north facing spurs. Doesn't generally work very well over here. But once I'm over that ridge, I think I'm, I should be able to find a climb and work my way up the north face of uh, Mount Hyde. And then the plan is to fly over there towards uh, the shot over saddle, which is up that end. We're gonna have to make a glide across the valley at some point or make some kind of move. Oh, Mount Matapu is that one. As Churchill just said, uh, that's uh, gonna be the next move and then we we'll maybe try and cross the valley. So good to be back home. All right, so we got to 8,000 feet on Churchill and now we're making the glide across uh, the shot over. It's quite a long glide. We're just coming in on, on uh, Mount Campbell and then we'll probably try and push up the shot over. Been good flying so far. Um, probably got another hour and a half left in the day in terms of flying. So try and make the most of it and see if we can make it to the shot, shot over saddle. We'll get as high as we can here and then cross the shot over again. This table's going right, Ben. Yeah, yeah, copy, copy. I reckon we just uh, follow these west faces and see if we can make it into the Matuki. Otherwise, just try and get as close to uh, the shot over saddle as we can so we can fly there tomorrow. Yeah, normally by the time we make it here, it's white capping. That's the shot over saddle. I'm gonna follow these west faces up and see if we can make it out. Brad's just below me, it's down there. And we're at 7,000 feet. Oh, it's looking like we're gonna make it through. That's the Matuki Tuki on that side. And the plan is to go up the Eastern Tuki. Brad's just behind me. All right, I'm through, Brad. I'll wait around on the North Faces. A Rob Roy Glacier. That's Shark's Tooth, Fog Peak, and then we're gonna head up that valley over there. Hopefully we get a decent climb here. That's Mount Aspiring, and we're going to glide across here and then uh, hopefully land somewhere on Ayostra. If we fly over, we could slope land somewhere there. We'll see what it's like when you get over there. As long as we're above bush line, I'm happy. So you reckon somewhere along here, we good for the morning? Just top land up on that ridge, eh? Yeah, I've camped up there before. There's a few tarns, um, and we can walk along that ridge line the next day, but somewhere there is good. Unless we get there and it's kind of, we can boat, boat along it and, and go a little bit further, but it might be good camping just here, you know, like it looks flat and good. Yeah, we'll see if, see if it's going up. There's definitely a bit of westerly pushing me down the valley, so it might be working. Um, maybe we could camp on the, there's like another spur that's further north. Um, yeah, that could be the go if we make it there. Um, there's the uh, the key, the chalet. There's like a fancy hut up here too. See that ridge there? 
in the East Matuki and we got a climb on this side, awesome! So I guess we can keep pushing up. Brad's just there. Then it's going to be a slope land on the spur behind it. All right, so we've left. Let's go, Brad. Where are you going, Brad? Turn right, Brad. We just need to clear this next ridge, otherwise it's going to be a pretty weird landing down there. And then I think we're going to slope land somewhere over there. Yeah, just be careful on that snow, mate. In fact, you're right in the shade there. I'm clearing it with good, uh, I'm doing it quite, quite well here. Yeah, I should clear. Should be good. Oh uh, yeah, I'm over where we're heading. The next spur in front, um, I reckon we slope land somewhere there so that tomorrow we can then hike along the ridge, then launch on the north faces of the Wilkin. The one with the rock cliff there? Yeah, exactly. I was thinking just to the right of that. Looks like a good camping spot. At least there's a fucking thermal there. <laughs> oh my God, imagine. It'd be good. If, man, if we can make it into the Wilkin, then we should do that. But I think we, we might be fishing our luck. What a day! We've kind of been flirting around here for 10 minutes, seeing if we can get a climb out, but it's not really working well enough. Enough that we can kind of gently blob around, which is quite nice. But nothing seems to be lifting us up high enough that we can escape this valley. It'd be good to get on the other side of this ridge up here, but we can just walk over in the morning. It's not really a big deal. I wasn't expecting to make it this far. Yeah. I was so good, just like get on the East Matuki, just oh, fucking keep going. 
I've made this. Oh, watch out, mate. Back. I've made this move before. I uh, just do it quick. <laughs> like, I don't know why he didn't wear boots, man. I dug a little trench and put a rock at the mouth of it, and it's just going to trickle in. And some water. Perfect. Water spot. Wow. Flew a lot further than we expected, eh? Like, I was going to be happy with the Austria, like, and then it was working up the Eastman Turks who were like, we had pretty much got to Austria and then went, oh, we'll try a bit more. Yeah. And then when we got to the end of the East, we were like, just dive over that. It was actually pretty full on getting over these ridges. Eh? Yeah. I was like, oh. radio, did you hear me on the radio? I'm like, Brad, turn. Yeah, Come, yeah. Are you coming with me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, because. That ridge was working and I thought if I can go along it, I know what you mean, yeah. Then your then your glide's not as far and I, I was Yeah. I, wasn't as high I as realized you. that's what you were doing. Yeah. Like, but then I initially I thought you had just misunderstood and were going for a different ridge or something. <laughs> and I'm like, I've already committed, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the second time I kicked snow today. Oh man. So much fun doing that, eh? Do you just make it through? So tomorrow we're just gonna walk along this ridge. Should only take us an hour. It's going to be a nice walk, I think. And then um, launch off the north faces into the Wilkin. If it all lines up, we could make Ohau. Yeah. Possible. We do the Wilkin, then Makara, jump over the Hunter. It's not It's not actually that far. Nah. And the flying from here is sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, I tell you what, if I didn't have those hand warmers, I would have been fucked. Yeah. They're quite warm, actually, now. Yeah. Give them a chance to heat up and... I might transfer mine from my gloves to my socks for, for night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've made the hardest move tomorrow already. Yeah. You know, like, starting in the Wilkins there, if we hadn't yeah. started on the, east, on the south side of the you've got to jump Mitoki, over. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a mission. Yeah. So I think... No, it's a good move, eh? Yeah. And we've got a short walk tomorrow to a good, a good start. Yeah, it's a couple of K. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, a couple of K, walk along the ridge, nothing too strenuous. Get up at sunrise. I got some coffees as well. Did you bring coffee? No, I didn't bring coffee. Oh, I sell you one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the coffee go for in the well, middle? <laughs> it's funny you ask actually because they've recently gone up in yeah. price yeah. almost instantly after I found out that you don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> Just packed down camp and it's another belter of a day. Not a cloud in the sky, no wind. Should be a cracker, eh, Brad? Should be a cracker. So we just decided to pack up and go and um, walk the snow ridge before um, the snow melts, otherwise we're gonna get wet feet. Um, we reckon it's over an hour to get to the other side where we wanna launch from, which is in the Wilkin. But it should be a really nice walk. Um, as, as long as Brad gets packed up before this evening. <laughs> <laughs> I've come up with a name for the video. Yeah. It's going to be called Waiting for Brad Across the Southern Alps. <laughs> Good. Made it to the top. 
About an hour and a half, just over. A little longer than expected. So now we're gonna find somewhere dry to sit, wait for the sun to come around, come around a bit more, make some breakfast, melt some snow, drink some water, dry the tents out, dry the tents out do some laundry. What a spot though. You can see all the way up the Siberia Valley. <clears throat> Epic. You know, not many people walk up here, you know? Like, yeah. You just fly in on your paraglider. Da, 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 da. <laughs> for brekkie soaking in the views got a couple hours before we want to take off not a bad place to hang out and have breakfast eh bro pretty epic <laughs> <laughs> you just look that way <laughs> awesome eh then hopefully at least we can fly up to the road <laughs> that'd be, nice. be nice if we don't fly out from here it's probably a good 12 hour walk out to the highway but we'll at least, at the very least, be able to glide down the valley. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. So, no cumulus now, but it looks really similar to yesterday. Been coming up here good now. Twelve twenty-two. It's not working now. It's not working. We've got on the first climb and we are pushing down the ridge. 6,000 feet. And we are gonna fly, try and fly out the Wilkin. M might see how high we can get and see if we can get out to Mount Turner, but we'll see how high we get here. If we can only get to 6,000, then it might be too difficult to cross over. The Kia. Yo. -ho. <laughs> awesome. Don't know if the camera will pick that up, but that was sick. Little baby one. Baby mountain parrot. Awesome. Looks like we're making it out the Wilkin. Oh, it looks a long glide over there. I don't think we'll cross. Oh, pretty low. It's been pretty rough here. We reckon we're whacking into some inversion. Just been getting smashed. These punchy thermals that are, you know, like, uh, just pulling you in. And then you're just whacking into a layer that's just, just quite turbulent. You're not really, achieving much here. So we're thinking about making a dive across the valley. Not that it's gonna be any better over there. Uh, well, we've decided to try and cross. Um, we could only get as high as 4.8 in the end on that side. So yeah, pretty desperate trying to cross now, but 
we were just getting whacked into an inversion, so we took uh, took the altitude we could, and uh, now we're just attempting to cross over and connect with the Mikero, but we're going over really low, so we're going to be really lucky if we manage to climb up on the other side. Hopefully we connect, otherwise we're going to be landing in uh, West Makaroa. It'll still be a good trip. If we get up here, we can't just get down to the uh, So we're down at 2,600 uh, feet. So it's going to be a bloody miracle if we get up here. There's a light southerly on the lake, which generally happens here when it's working as the mountains pull it in, but we're a bit low to get re-established now. Well, see, it's not over yet, but I think it's over. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you go. Sweet, wow, good trip, mate. And it's September. Oh, man, yesterday was super gay. Oh, that was a good trip. Landed in Makaroa. Now we uh, hitchhiked back, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty stable in the end. Like, we couldn't climb up on the western side, and we were scrapping around on the end of that one, just whacking into an inversion A or something like yeah, it was. Yeah, just kept stepping down as we came to the main valley. But and it was only rough at that pop out level. Oh, we, we whacked into 47, 48 a few times. And it was, it was, you know, it was terrible. And so we decided just to give it a punt to try and cross the valley, pretty much knowing that it wasn't going to work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good trip. Oh man, it was worth it just for the first day. It was fucking epic. Ah, I mean, to sleep and up camping. there last night was ah. fucking amazing. Like, that walk along the ridge this morning. We were super morning. deep out there, you know. Oh. It was a mega walk if we didn't make it out of that valley. Oh, exactly. So amazing flight today because we didn't have to walk <laughs> out the Wilkin. Yeah, I mean, all right, now some hitchhiking. Just taking advantage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, loads of practice. He's on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.